33 of the best spellers in Baldwin County went letter for letter, word for word this afternoon, looking to move on and possibly represent Alabama in a national spelling bee. Local 15's Christina Zverjeko was there as a winner emerged. Greg, if you've never been to a spelling bee competition, let me tell you, it can be a nail biter. And these kids do give spell check and autocorrect a run for its money. G -E -O. One word at a time, letter by letter. Smart. 33 students from all over Baldwin County tried to spell their way to the top. It was just am amazing to just feel what it was like. Drew Miller is a fifth grader at Spanish 4 Elementary. Tonight his mother was on the edge of her seat watching him compete. So nervous uh, because I know that again he didn't come into this thinking he was going to do very well. He was like I'm competing against middle schoolers. In fact Miller spelled better tonight than most of those middle schoolers. All but I became a two champion of the stage. I never heard the word boysenberry, which is a word. I, I kind of thought, well, hey, I think I'm going to win because I knew that word like when I'm around my sleep, basically. While Eliogo came out on top, Miller took second, proud of his accomplishment, but ready to do a little more studying on origins of words. You can take, say, the Italian origin, and you know that the K sound is mostly spelled with CC, as in the word staccato. However, if you take the Greek origin, you can have the words that are spelled the K sound CH, such as patriarch. Eliogo, on the other hand, will now focus on competing at the state level, just after spelling her last word of the night. Victory, V-I-C-T-O-R-Y, victory. <laughs> And that state competition is coming up in a couple of months after that. There is a chance to go to Washington, D.C. and represent Alabama there. Greg, back to you.